In this review video, we're going to talk about combining exponential expressions. Right, so here's the important rules note. If you multiply two exponentials together, you just add their exponents. Doing the opposite of you get division, you subtract the exponents. And when you have the double exponent here, you multiply the two. All right, so when you look at a problem like this, there's actually a few different ways you can go, but I kind of keep things on the, op uh, the, the division bars and then do that last. So I'm going to look at this a cubed and a squared first and combine those. And notice since they're next to each other, I can add the, the exponents and get 5. But now this, these parts are as simple as possible, so now I can worry about the division bar as I subtract. And I do 5 minus 7, I get 8 to the negative 2. And generally, we don't like our final answers having a negative exponent, so I'm going to rewrite it using my negative exponent rule, which is 1 over a squared. I have this next problem. Um, we have all these b's and these c's and these extra exponents. It's important to know you can only combine the ones with the same basis. So I can't combine this b and the c here because they're different uh, exponential types. But I can combine the b's and I combine the c's. Right. And the b's you subtract. All right, so I subtract the exponents because I'm dividing. I subtract the exponents because I'm dividing. And I get this. And then I just go in ahead and simplify the parentheses as much as possible. All right, b to the negative 1 wants to jump to the bottom of this division bar. And now I have this fraction raised to the third. This third exponent goes to both of these, so I can multiply 3 and 3 and 1 and 3 and do this multiplication to get my final answer. All right, so I basically simplified inside the parentheses as much as possible to get c cubed over b. And this exponent on the outside distributes kind of to both of those pieces. All right, but those are the basic rules for simplifying exponential expressions.